Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I am here today with two weeks worth of wax melt empties. I am filming this on Sunday the 25th, so I hope that everyone had a really good weekend. I actually found my wedding dress this weekend and the experience was just top notch. If you live in the DMV area, I am going to give a shout out to Bridal Boutique Columbia. They just made it such a fun and easy and professional experience. I ended up actually with the first dress that I tried on. I tried on six and the dress that I ended up with was actually the only one that I had seen online that I knew for sure that I wanted to try when I got there. And I just didn't know if the vision in my head would actually match how I felt and what I looked like in the dress, but it ended up being the one and it was the first wedding dress shop that I went to. So I literally ended up with the first dress from the first store. So I got really, really lucky. So it was just an amazing weekend. My fiance and my future mother-in-law and my mom all were there and it was just really, really fun. So that was the highlight of my weekend and next week we are going to our last beach trip of the summer so I wanted to go ahead and show these empties before another whole week went by especially because I'm not gonna have a normal melting week next week so these are two weeks of empties I have a few vendors here I will go ahead and start with the vendor that I have the most of which is my L3 and as usual, I will do the samples first. So this first one was a scoop sample in Circus Concessions. I normally don't like the Circus blends because they're so heavy on the caramel apple. While I love caramel and I love apple, there's something about caramel apple oils. It just is, it's a little too heavy for me. It's a little nauseating. This one was really good because I could barely smell the apple in it. To me, it kind of just smelled like kettle corn, caramel, and maybe some cotton candy. And I really, really liked that. It was mostly just a really rich, sweet caramel scent. I melted a sample in just plain yellow cake. I was really surprised um, with how strong this actually was by itself. I have had yellow cake in blends a million times and I love that oil and I always feel like I really can. How long has that hair looked like that? Oh no, no, no. I can always detect that note in blends, but I never know if it's the other oils just kind of amplifying it or if it is one of those that can stand on its own. A lot of basic kind of cake scents don't necessarily, but I was really pleasantly surprised with how strong this was. It was just a warm, fresh out of the oven yellow cake, really, really good. This one was buttercream frosting, cinnamon apple, and sugar cookie royale. This was really rich, heavy sugar cookie, that doughy sugar cookie royale. Imagine that iced with buttercream frosting and then apple cinnamon kind of on top. That's exactly what it smelled like. It was very realistic. It is a little, almost could lean a little butterscotchy the way that all the notes blended together, but personally, I like that. This was amaretto, vanilla ice cream, pumpkin pecan waffles, and pie crust. Honestly, the only really like bready base note in this is the pie crust, which pie crust is a good strong oil, but it has to put in a lot of work in a blend like this because amaretto, vanilla ice cream, and pumpkin pecan waffles are such creamy, buttery almost to my nose scents, and L3's amaretto is just so sweet. I don't get a cherry note from it. This to me just smelled like really, really extra sweet, sweet vanilla with a hint of amaretto, just a little salty pie crust on the bottom. It was pretty good. This one was Penthouse Passion. This to me smelled a little bit like a citrus kind of musky perfume. Um, there was definitely a citrus element in it, but not necessarily a sweet, juicy fruit. More like a, if you see orange peel or a citrus zest listed as a note in a perfume, it was kind of giving that, but I am gonna look it up just to see. Okay, so these notes say, 
um, bamboo, fresh bergamot, and cucumber mingle with Turkish rosewater lily and wild jasmine above warm bamboo woods and balsam. So I'm not accurate at all with the citrus and that makes me wonder if I'm remembering the wrong. When I smell it in the bag, it I do kind of get those more earthy notes, but there is just this little hint to my nose of a tartness to it, and I'm not sure which one of those notes would bring that, and it especially came out on warm, but when I smell the bag, I do smell the bergamot and like a kind of muskiness in here, so it was it was good but it didn't stand out to me and reading those notes i can see why because those aren't the scents that i go for but i just remember it kind of being like a nice like pretty gentle bathroom scent i finished two scoops the first is coffee bean sugar cookie royale and vanilla ice cream this was one of my favorite coffee scents that I've ever, ever melted, especially in the scoop form. This performed so well in my Accord warmer in my kitchen. I have to say L3's coffee bean can be a little scary for people on first sniff. I think that it was for me the first time I smelled it. And even sometimes when I get coffee bean blends, I get a little worried because the coffee is very strong and it can almost come off as a little skunky. But that scent, that note in particular, when you warm it, it completely transforms and there is no skunkiness or harshness to it. And adding these super sweet notes, the vanilla ice cream and the doughy fresh baked sugar cookies of the Sugar Cookie Royale, this was just like coffee ice cream bakery. So, so good. This is gonna be available in the ready to ship tomorrow. I also finished this um, scoop in on Wednesdays, We Wear Pink, which is pink frosted animal cookies. And today is October 3rd, which is toasted mallow, palo santo, and sugar cookie royale. So I have to be honest with this scent, to me, it did not smell much different from just regular today is October 3rd, which is a really, really beautiful, smoky bakery sweet scent. Um, I don't know if it's just my nose that doesn't pick up a whole lot from frosted animal cookies. So I just personally, I liked this, but it was just kind of today's October 3rd to me. I know that this has a lot of fans, so I think that some noses can really detect the difference. That just wasn't the experience for me, but it was really good. This was a pack of tarts in strawberry pound cake, rainstorm, and leaves. I love this blend because it's just so unique. I mean, those are three such different scent notes. And I remember when I ordered this, I had no idea what to expect putting these together, but it just came out so beautifully. I will say, I think that the prominent note to my nose is the rainstorm, but the fruitiness and the sweetness of the strawberry pound cake is what I get next. And it really balances the almost like harsh floral aspect that rainstorm can sometimes have. Adding the leaves just boosted that fruit and a little bit of that earthiness. And this turned into something just so interesting. It To me, it smelled sweet, fruity, and a little perfumey, but you could tell that there was just some earth and rain behind it. And I couldn't really necessarily pick out strawberry. I could just tell that there was something there. Really good, really unique blend. I recommend trying something like this because it's one of those ones you just can't picture and you can't even really describe all that well. I finished this cloud cake of Cookies Cookies, which is pink sugar, serendipity, and vanilla but butter fudge. I just recently got a loaf of this in Loaf of Palooza. This is an old reliable blend for me. One of the first blends I actually ever bought from L3 and one of the first ones that I remember my fiance really falling in love with and commenting on. Serendipity is one of her favorite scent notes and I totally get it. It's a really good scent. It's a hint of coconut, but really just with this super rich, creamy base of very, it 
it reads more vanilla coconut to me, honestly. And vanilla butter fudge has a similar kind of gooey creaminess to it. So when you blend them together, you just get this really, really rich creaminess. And then pink sugar offsets it with like a little musk and femininity. And it just turns into this ultra sweet feminine scent. Really good, really strong throw, really long lasting. If you are looking for a strong, long lasting blend, this is definitely one to look out for. I finished this snap bar in Palo Santo pink sugar and zucchini bread. This is another old reliable blend for me. Add anything with zucchini bread and I'm going to like it. But the way that the Palo Santo and the pink sugar mix together, it brings out that perfuminess that can be in both of those blends. Also the musk and the smoke really balance each other out nicely and you just get this kind of like slightly earthy, a little bit musky with a hint of feminine, like a fragrance that you would wear. And then the zucchini bread just adds this depth to it. It doesn't smell like bakery to me. It really just smells like a gorgeous perfumer cologne with a bakery note on the base of it, if that makes sense. Last thing from L3, this was a loaf that I got from the first round robin that my friends and I ever did. So this is one of the first scents I ever got from Gabriella and it was like nostalgic. I honestly felt like sentimental finishing it. Um, I just remember it as one of the first things that I got from our first round robin that I really fell in love with. And this was pumpkin pecan waffles, peanut brittle and coconut cream pie. Something about this was just so good to me. I don't have a whole lot of experience with peanut brittle blends. I've smelled a couple that almost give off a fruitiness to it and I find those ones a little bit strange, but something with the way that this was in here, I think it's because there was pecan and coconut in it. So it just made this really, really pretty sweet nutty scent with the buttery waffles and the sweet cream pie. And you can really smell the pie crust in coconut cream pie from L3. So this was just like a really, really creamy, nutty pie type of blend. I really, really, really loved this one. That is all of my L3. I have three things here from the pharmacist daughter. This first one is a sample in Sweetheart, which was strawberry white cake, cupcakes at Tiffany's and sugar cookie dough. I normally really like strawberry white cake blends, but I found that I really need like a really deep red base behind it or the strawberry is just too um, kind of overly sweet, almost smelling a little bit artificial. The cupcakes at Tiffany's and the sugar cookie dough were just not enough to balance that out. And so I just wasn't the biggest fan of the strawberry in this blend. But if you are a super into like extra, extra sweet, creamy strawberry rather than a more tart jam strawberry like I am, I would recommend checking out this blend. Oh, I forgot one from L3, so sorry about that. Tracking back really quick, this was also one I got in a round robin box. This was Blue Sugar, Sugar Cookie, and Mallow Fluff. This was so good. This was just a really pretty um, Blue Sugar Bakery blend. Blue Sugar is kind of a slightly masculine, kind of cool, deep, musky scent, but it pairs so well with bakery and it really brings out the sweet, sugary elements of it. It really just deepens bakery and that's exactly what it did in this and I really enjoyed that. Back to the pharmacist's daughter. I also finished this strawberry coconut crack, strawberry pound cake and coconut crack. This strawberry is one that I really like. Their strawberry pound cake specific um, oil is really good. And their coconut crack blend is just genuinely the best coconut blend I've ever smelled in vendor wax. This coconut blend just brings out the best of every one of these coconut oils and it just smells so realistic and delicious and sweet. And that just with this hint of strawberry, it was just extra, extra pretty strawberry coconut really enjoyable. I made a very, very small purchase on the pharmacist daughter for this current pre-order because she offered pumpkin coconut crack, which I actually had requested and it sounds so good. So I just got a souffle of that. I cannot wait to try it. This last blend was 22 pink sugar, vanilla buttercream, 
birthday cake, lavender, and zucchini bread. I absolutely loved this blend and it was really checking all the boxes for all of the things that I'm obsessed with right now because I'm definitely in my like blending pink sugar and lavender era. I have been in for a while and I'm kind of always in my zucchini bread era. So all of that together, this was just so good. Lavender and pink sugar together is just so feminine, soothing, sweet. I absolutely love it. And then a couple of those cake and frosting notes just made it like sweet bakery with that femininity and not losing that herbal quality or really the perfume quality. And then you add zucchini bread and it just gives it that base for everything to thrive. And it just makes everything better. I loved this blend. I would recommend it. I would buy it again. I finished two from Glitterati. This this first one is bridal party violet sugar cookies and wedding cake totally got this as a wild card had no idea what to expect because i'm not like the biggest floral person as in like fresh florals i like them in like perfumey spa blends but not like a fresh cut violet or anything like that so i didn't know what to expect but this threw me completely for a loop. I ended up really loving this. It didn't smell, at least to my nose, floral at all. The violet almost just smelled like this kind of rich cashmere with this just ever so slight hint of a floral, but a floral that you'd find in a body care. And then the sugar cookie and the wedding cake just came out so strong. So it was just this really gentle, relaxing, sweet bakery, but also almost lotion-y blend. I really, really enjoyed this. I would recommend giving it a try. It's not what you think it'll be. This other Glitterati scent is the iconic Lou's Bakery Golden Pastries Fresh Dough Vanilla Sugar Cookies and Butter. This is um, beloved by so many and I totally understand why. This is a fantastic bakery blend. To me, it's heavy on the butter and the pastry. You also definitely get that dough in there, but this is definitely a very like buttery kind of half cooking bakery scent. And it is just so sweet and rich. It's a strong thrower. If you are a fan of Witches Be Crazy from Teddy Bees, I would recommend giving Lou's Bakery a try very very good i have a few from that smell good shop this first one is their marshmallow fireside toasted marshmallows and smoldering woods this was really good it's really hard to mess up a marshmallow fireside scent for me it's really just marshmallow and some smoke and burning wood it hits every time for me it's so so good this was no exception it was fantastic that smell good shop really just excels in being able to have these basic notes still throw really strong and i really appreciate their wax for that i also finished this blend called to the moon and back which was palo santo let them eat cake and pink sugar this was just a super super smoky musky feminine sweet perfume every time i went into my bedroom i was not remembering if i sprayed something or if it was the wax like if i had sprayed perfume and when i would realize it was the wax i just would enjoy it so much it just had these all of the elements sweet smoky feminine musky and let them eat cake i didn't realize this is just a sweet um, very sweet perfumey scent but that is not a bakery scent and this was not a bakery blend and I totally enjoyed it. Last from that smell good shop was this two pack sample in Cowardly Lion strawberry pound cake and cupcakes at Tiffany's. This was just an extra, extra sweet, sweet um, strawberry pound cake. Cupcakes at Tiffany's is that super sweet cupcake with the toffee icing. And then their strawberry pound cake is definitely Bath and Body Works. It was just that super sweet, rich, buttery with an extra vanilla toffee sweetness. I know some people get chocolate in Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I personally don't see that, but this was just like extra sweet strawberry bakery. Really enjoyed that. I have two from Fantasy Wax. This first one is glazed donuts and maple toddy. 
I really liked this because to me, this was just a glazed donut scent with a hint of fall. Like it just, the maple toddy just added this like element of fall, almost as if it was a glazed donut, maybe with just a maple glaze instead of a regular glaze. I am so, so with maple scents because sometimes they can be too overly syrupy to my nose. That was not the case for this. Like I said, it just added a touch of a fall note and I really enjoyed that. I also finished this blackberry jam butter cookies, salted caramel and pumpkin pecan waffles. I love these blends, the salty and sweet blackberry jam butter cookie scents. And I really think that fantasy wax does do them the best. There's just something about the way that blackberry jam butter cookies blends with a salty scent, whether it be the salted caramel or pretzel, it just works. They just work so well together. And having the cookie and the pumpkin pecan waffles there as a butteriness, as a sweetness, it just, the sweet, the salty, and the fruit is just a perfect, perfect mix. This is my favorite way to do blackberry jam butter cookies blends. I absolutely loved this one. All right, and now we're already on to the vendors that I only have one of. So this first one is a shot cup from Vintage Chic. This is Bad Guys Sugar Cookies, Neon Green Pistachio Pudding Cake, Waffle Cones, and Cupcakes. This was my last chance for VCS, to be completely honest. I've just not had good luck with the VCS that I've tried, and I've never actually purchased directly other than the first time I got a sample bag on Etsy. Um, other than that, it has just been de-stashes or mystery bags, and I just have not had good luck with performance, and unfortunately, this one really didn't work out for me either. The throw on it was very light, but what I could smell didn't smell the greatest to me. I almost was getting this like kind of dirty foot type of scent and I honestly kept thinking like I kept like trying to figure out what it was and then I realized holy shit it's the wax so I immediately took that out and I think just vintage chic is not gonna just work in my home and that's okay more for everyone else who absolutely loves her wax also that did smell good on cold by the way so i'm not sure what happened in the warming process i used this sample in lavender cream from teddy bees this is a gorgeous gorgeous sweet lavender scent it was like a creamy cashmere with a kind of blend of sweet lavender it was really really beautiful really rich creamy luxurious lavender through great i have great luck with teddy bees i cut these samples into two pieces i put one in my bathroom warmer, one in my office, both were fantastic. I finished this clamshell from this vendor, Chicks and Wicks. I don't remember how I saw, I think I saw the vendor on Instagram or something and I made a small order. And to be honest, there were a couple of things I tried that I didn't have good luck with, but this scent in particular was so amazing. This was called Weatherby Farms Birchwood Pine Cinnamon Sugar fried donuts and toasted marshmallows and it was exactly that it was a delicious pine scent but not overly like pine salt you could definitely smell still like the bark of the tree the cinnamon sugar wasn't a spicy cinnamon at all it was straight up cinnamon sugar the fried donuts was perfect the toasted marshmallows added a slight smokiness and extra sweetness this was an amazing scent i would definitely rebuy this one i loved it finished a sample from Sweet Tooth Scents. This is her blend Cranberry Palo, Cranberry and Palo Santo. This is absolutely amazing. I get really good throw from Sweet Tooth and her fruit scents are some that I really enjoy because they're very realistic fruit scents. This was just a super, super deep, deep cranberry with a smoky Palo Santo. It was fantastic. It was a very dark, moody, smoky, rich, deep fruit blend. Really liked that one. This was Pink Pearls from Swanky. This was Pink Sugar, Vanilla Lace, Let Them Eat Cake, Vanilla Bean, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Velvet Sugar. So all the velvet, all the sugars, and all of the vanilla body care, and that is exactly what this was. This was feminine, sweet, sugary vanilla body care. Loved it. 
it was great this was a um little sample bag from rose girls in blueberry pumpkin car carbs with ghouls which was blueberry pumpkin patch and carbs with ghoul friends which i believe is like an oatmeal cookie kind of bakery blend this was fantastic i love the blueberry pumpkin patch oil because it's not overly blueberry and i can kind of smell like the fresh air of the pumpkin patch in that blend it's just like a really good way to microdose blueberry or pumpkin if you don't want something super overpowering and then blended with the carbs with ghoul friends blend that was such a good fall bakery addition to it and this just smelled like a like fall and I loved it. This was from Birdie's Making Sense. This is Hannah's Baby. Strawberry white cake and zucchini bread. This is, like I said, strawberry white cake. My favorite way to do it is with zucchini bread. It really, really tones down the strawberry and puts an emphasis on the bread and the bakery with just this hint of strawberry. I just love those two notes together. There's something about it that's just inexplicable. You just have to try it. This was a sample that I got from Summer. This was 30A cents. Pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. This was really good. This smelled more realistic to me than typical pumpkin pecan waffles scents um, do. I could actually really smell the waffle. It was... I think that my power just surged. Hey, babe. Yeah. Did the power just surge? Is that what that was? I think so. I think a cloud passed over. I th me too, because what would what would have surged? Right. Nothing's on. But you thought it for a second too. Two seconds. Okay. I didn't realize there was nothing on in the room. Me either. It was like a flash. Yeah. <laughs> This was, yeah, this was a more realistic pumpkin pecan waffle. I could really smell the waffle. It was a great sweet scent. The ones that I have melted from 30A, I would say are a light to medium throw for me. Not the strongest, but still like very nice. Just a lighter scent. I think that does better in a smaller space in my house. This was fried dough from Second and Spruce. Fried dough, flaky crust, and cinnamon brown sugar. This was fantastic. This was a delicious cinnamon bakery scent without it being a spicy cinnamon. This was a very, very sugary cinnamon, and the bakery part was definitely that flaky crust and fried dough. You could smell that it was really specifically that, like those notes, really, really good. This was Eros from the Melt Stash, which is Palo Santo, roasted pine cone, and smoked vanilla amazing those are three notes that i absolutely love the palo santo and the smoked vanilla really complemented each other and brought out the smoke in each of those notes and then the roasted pine cone was still the most prominent it was that super earthy sweet slightly feminine a little bit fruity pine cone scent almost as if you were smelling like a pine cone with like a juniper berry around a tree it's just a very fresh roasted almost as if like it really was roasted and there was some pine sap going out i don't know it's just roasted pine cones is a tough one for me to describe and i feel like it is just worth a smell but with the palo santo and the smoked vanilla this was definitely on the earthier side i loved it the melt stash has great performance from every single thing that i've melted highly recommend um their wax as well i finished this little snap bar from sassy girl aroma this was green tea and patchouli i really like this i like patchouli scents i have to be in the mood for it but i still really like that smoky incensey new agey scent and then the green tea was like fresh green tea leaves this smelled like i was in an incense shop where they were burning patchouli and i was making a fresh cup of green tea and i was smelling the leaves in the tea bag before super good it was a vibe and it was something you really have to be into or in the mood for i feel like to really like but um i enjoyed it i finished this clamshell of warm vanilla sugar from wax melt shop i haven't tried too much from them i think this is actually the first thing that i finished i do have a couple of other clamshells um this was good this was just like your classic warm vanilla sugar um it was the bath and body works dupe 
to a T. It was strong and long lasting in my bathroom and my office. And I think I also put it in the bedroom bathroom combo. It did well. It was just like your basic warm vanilla sugar scent. And this is my last thing here. So this is Salt Mountain Melts I Dream of Bread. Lavender, fresh baked bread, and vanilla bean noel. This was super interesting. You know I love my lavender breads and my lavender bakeries, and this one was a little bit different. It was mainly a fresh baked bread scent, and it was it read very salty to my nose. It was like a salty fresh baked bread with this just like ever so slight hint of an herbal lavender and some vanilla. Very unique, very interesting. A little bit on the lighter side of performance, which is atypical of salt mountain melts for me that was just i think it was just this scent but i liked it don't get me wrong i could smell it it was good it was unique it was different it's not something that i like more than dream weaver because they're not comparable they're completely different scents but i did enjoy this one for what it was and that my friends is everything that i have for my empties for the last two weeks let me know if you have tried any of these scents if you like any of these let me know something fun that you did this weekend what was your highlight of your weekend and i hope that you enjoyed watching this video subscribe if you like wax videos and i will see you in my next one